for the rest of the day actually. Just doing a couple A's, a couple B's, a couple C's. I guess I should be filming her, but it's all about me. beneficial to just find somewhere nearby where we're staying to do a pre-comp as opposed to going to the track and being a part of all the craziness for another day it's better at this point that I'm just like resting and getting ready tomorrow we're gonna sleep in as late as possible that's always the key when competing later I don't want to be tired and feel like I need a nap at 5 p.m. have some pancakes for breakfast go for a shakeout Maybe do the shakeout before the pancakes. Stretch. Just hang out all day. Probably head to the track around two. So I think tomorrow, as long as I keep the focus on me, everything is gonna go really well. I mean, all season long, my goal has just been to jump as far as possible. I've never went into any meets thinking that I need to win or I need to beat anybody. So I don't think anything needs to change just because it's nationals. Um, like I've showed up to every single meet I've been in this year so I just need to be confident that I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow and then I'm ready for a big one I have every reason to be confident right now based on my practices and the way meets have been going so I'm just excited to to making it happen tomorrow Gangster beats before. So I always tell Caro that she brushes her teeth too aggressive because all of her bristles are really messed up. She just broke her toothbrush because she brushes it too hard. It's a good day when you know you're so strong that you rip your freaking toothbrush in half. Yeah. So, I'm ready to go. It's a beauty day out. We're leaving soon.
champion for 2017 from London Western, Caroline Earhart. Caroline's jump, 13 meters, 53. Photo woman, girls. So we did a post comp interview yesterday, but the footage was misplaced. Um, so it's a little bit after the fact now. We are now at Taylor's mom's cottage, which you will get a chance to see in our next vlog. So if you can't tell, I'm quite pleased with how nationals went. A lot of people who were watching the live stream, they kept saying that um, they thought I was pissed after I jumped 1353 because of my reaction. Maybe I'm not very expressive, but I was happy. I was just kind of in shock too. So I think that series and that consistency that I showed yesterday shows me that I'm already ready to go even further, which is very exciting. And uh, I'm planning to, to do that in Africa. So definitely good to get the confidence up before that meet. Um, overall, it was just an awesome competition in general. Everyone did really well. There's five girls over 1290. Last last year at Nationals, I won the meet with 1290 something. So it's cool to see how much the event has grown in just one year. Um, the crowd was great. Ottawa did a really good job with Nationals this year. I'm, I'm very happy to go back next year. Yeah, it's just nice that Taylor and I were both able to walk away with strong performances. It's always hard when somebody has a good meet and the other person doesn't. Um, it's great to be on the same page in our athletic journey. And now we're going to have some s'mores tonight. But um, thanks to everyone who sent us well wishes before and after nationals and has been supporting us all along. Um, we're both very fortunate to have an awesome kind of team of support that's been with us. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed seeing some behind the scenes stuff from Nationals and also our actual competitions. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of our training uh, before we head off to Francophone Games in Africa. And also feel free to hit the share button on Facebook for our channel to help us get it out there a little bit more. And thanks for watching.